Let's talk about how to launch a Spotify growth campaign for your newest release in less than five minutes. Hey, it's John here at Hypedit, and in this video, I want to show you how you can launch a Facebook and Instagram Spotify growth campaign for your newest release in less than five minutes simply by duplicating a campaign that you previously ran. And this is so valuable because if you release music frequently, which you should, right? I highly recommend that you put out at least a new release once per month, then that really will save you a lot of time and saving time and giving you more time back making music rather than marketing music is one of the biggest benefits of the Spotify growth engine to start with. So this will just allow you to multiply those benefits and save even more time as you launch campaign after campaign for every one of new releases. Okay. And the reason why I'm recording this video is because this has literally come up as a question now a few times through our customer support and also in my VIP circle, my inner coaching group, where I personally work with music artists on a weekly basis, getting their music out there and helping them scale their results on Spotify. So I decided to record this video here for everyone who's interested in this topic. All right, so we're looking into my Facebook Ads Manager right now, and the starting point is that you have a campaign already running. This is a campaign that just follows the Spotify growth engine system step by step. All right, so we have this campaign here. Back to me is a link campaign. If I click into it, you can see that I'm testing different audiences. There's a group of sounded like artists that I'm testing and two genre interests, house music and deep house. And this has performing well for me. So naturally, I'd love to carry those audiences and those settings into a new campaign for the Spotify growth engine. So I'll show you how easy and fast this is. First thing you got to do is find the campaign you want to duplicate and then click on this little duplicate link here. Yes, we want to duplicate this. All right. And here's our duplicate. So there's only a few things we got to do. First of all, let's update the name of the campaign. I'm going to set this up for a new release called Feel It. I'm going to take out copy. And then all the settings here are already set up correctly. All right. All the settings at the ad set level are already set up correctly. It has the right conversion event here for the hype to Spartan and click Like you literally don't have to do anything. All we have to do is update the ads because obviously these ran for the previous song and now we want them for the new song. And there's really only two things we got to do. The first one is we have to update the video to the preview of the new song. So I'm just going to come in here and say edit media change video and i got the new videos uploaded here so let me click the feel it preview number one i'm going to put this in here we're going to do the same for preview number two change the video this is preview number two bam you see how fast this goes and then the same for preview number three change the video to feel it number three and then we're done. All right, so now we have the right video in all of these ads. And what I'm doing now is I'm holding down the shift key to select all of the three ads together. And the reason why I'm doing this, because the other thing we have to update is the URL to the Hyped It Smart Link. So obviously this is for the prior track. So all I'm gonna do is come over into Hyped It and I'm gonna pick the link that I wanna use. Let me pick this one here. This is a Smart Link that I set up for Feel It. Just click on Copy Link in Hyped It on your Hyped It dashboard. We're going to come in here and we're going to paste it. And that's it. This is literally how fast we now updated all of the ads in the Deep House ad set. So how are we going to get those ads over into the other ad sets? I'll show you how I would do this. So we got the Deep House ad set updated. I'm actually also going to update the titles here real quick. So I know this is for my new song. Feel it. And okay, so this is good. And now what I'm going to do is I want to close this real quick. I'm just going to close it. I'm not going to discard anything. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the old ads. All right. And we're going to back to me, back to me. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to discard those. All right. And now I'm going to go to select the new ones. We're going to do copy. And I know I'm going to set those up in Deep House. So now I'm just going to select the other two ad sets, which are now empty. They don't have any ads in them. And now we're going to paste this in there. 
All right, and now you can see now all three ad sets have all three ads with all the three previews for the new track, Feel It. And that is literally it. Now I'm just gonna select all the ads again, hit publish, and we're done. We successfully duplicated a Spotify growth engine campaign for this new track. And this literally takes you less than five minutes. You can fly through this. And now it's in review process. And in a couple of minutes, I expect Facebook to take this new campaign live. That's how fast it goes. And if you're watching this video and you're wondering, John, what's this Spotify growth engine you're talking about? And you want to learn more about how to effectively promote your music on Spotify and build this machine that's constantly bringing in new fans and listeners and streams 24 seven for your music. So you save the time that you might otherwise spend on posting on social media endlessly, right? Or you eliminate the frustration of maybe getting fake results from playlist promotion, right? Because with Facebook and Instagram ads, it's all real fans. It's all real exposure. Then I'm going to leave a link below this video or to the Spotify growth engine. This is where I show music artists of all genres how to massively scale their results on Spotify with this simple replicatable system that I'll walk you through step by step and click by click. So links below this video and I hope to see you on the inside and in my next video. Cheers.